welcome, my name is Jenny. Thank you so much for joining me for today's favorite oil. Today we're going to be talking about another citrus oil. This one is the lime essential oil. Um, I do use this one every day. It's got lots of different healing properties. And the reason I end up using it every day is because it's actually in our focus blend, which is called In Tune. Um, and it's also in our cleansing blend, which is the HD Clear. I use both of those every day. Um, I use the HD Clear just to go over certain areas on my skin where I might get little uh, irritations or breakouts. Um, and then for the In Tune, I actually apply that uh, during the day. I actually like to do it on the top of my big toe, the reflex point uh, for the pineal gland and all that fun stuff. Um, and then uh, I also like to do it just on the back of my neck. And I'll also do that uh, before I go to sleep. It actually helps me to have some pretty awesome dreams uh, since I started doing that. So those are just two of the blends that Lime is actually found in. Of course, this is another one that you can actually add to your water to flavor your water. Uh, and I will just remind that uh, for um, essential oils, typically taking essential oils internally is a big no-no um, because you can't guarantee the purity and the quality of the essential oil. And that includes it from you know the growth process to its harvesting to the extraction to putting it in the bottle. Um, any contamination can happen at any one of those stages and what's great about doTERRA is they actually do test their oils at every single one of those stages just to ensure that they're meeting that purity and that quality that uh, we've come to know from these oils. So that's the only reason why you can actually take these ones internally. I just want to be very clear on that so that you don't grab any essential oil and then uh, put it in your water because that's not, uh, not usually... Uh, something you're able to do, okay? So very important to mention. Um, so this is the lime essential oil. It is one that has been approved in Canada as a natural healthcare product. Um, and again, some of the usages in here are amazing. I didn't even realize it myself. So um, for internal and topical use, um, you can use this one to help relieve coughs and colds. So another one that's great for um, decongesting or the, the respiratory. Um, used in aromatherapy for symptomatic relief of acne and boils. So again, that's why it's in the HD clear or the cleansing blend. And I do use that every day. Um, used in aromatherapy to relieve, to help um, joint and muscle pain associated with brains, strains, and rheumatoid arthritis. So that's another thing um, <laughs> that it's great for. Um, add a drop of lime to your drinking water for an enhanced flavor. Add a drop to your salsa. So I actually know a lot of people that are adding uh, lime to the guacamole. Is that normally where you put it? I think that's true. <laughs> I've never made my own guacamole. Can you tell? Um, replace your sugary beverage with a drop of lemon and lime and water for a refreshing flavor. Add one drop to your facial cleanser or shampoo for added cleansing properties. Combine with tea tree for a soothing scalp massage. Uh, diffuse into the air to, um, pardon, to fill the air with an uplifting aroma. So again, all of our citrus oils are all considered uplifting. Um, diffuse while studying and then apply to wrists again while testing on those subjects. So this is another great one for memory. Another one where you can use that trick where if you're smelling it while you're studying or you know going over information, then when you need to recall that information, use that scent again and it will help the memory recall. Reason for that again, um, essential oils have an immediate effect on the limbic brain where emotions and memories are stored. So as you know, when you smell something, it can take you off to when you were a kid or what have you. So you can use lime. Peppermint is another great one or the Intune blend in general, um, which the lime is actually in as well. So, um, so great one for that. And blend well with cedarwood, black pepper and cilantro. So those are the approved claims for the lime. I'm going to give you some of the top usages that are recommended for um, Lyme in the Essential Life book, which is our Essential Oil Bible. Again, these are not all of the possible usages for this particular essential oil, and also not all of these um, claims have been approved by a regulating body. So these are possible usages that have been passed on for thousands of years. Okay, thousands of years. <laughs> uh, so top usages for a sore throat, gargle internally with water. Respiratory, lymph, and liver congestion, so internally in a capsule or applying topically over the area of concern. Um, urinary and digestive issues, so internally in a glass of water. For memory and clarity, so again, another one why, uh, reason why you would use this for studying. And that's just literally diffusing it in the air while you're studying or um, even applying it to yourself, just so that you're smelling it. Um, for exhaustion or depression, so it's um, going to energize and uplift. For herpes and cold sores, so internally in a capsule or topical directly to the outbreak. Um, great for chicken pox, so again internally or applying um, directly diluted on your spots. For head lice, 
Um, so this is one you can combine with uh, tea tree oil or the malaleuca and apply it to the scalp. And for pain and inflammation, so again, that's an, um, another one of the approved claims is that it's great for um, any pains associated with sprains, strains, and rheumatoid arthritis. So applying topically over the area of discomfort, or again, um, taking internally to, to decrease inflammation and increase antioxidants. Um, and then for, for emotional balance, if you're feeling faint, this will help you to feel enlivened. And again, for citrus oils, all of them are quite uplifting. Um, there is a little safety with this particular essential oil, and it's true for the skin. When we're working with citrus oils, if you're applying it to the skin, um, it can create a little photosensitivity. So it says to avoid sunlight and UV ray exposure on affected areas for 12 hours after direct topical application because it can cause skin sensitivity. So just being careful when you're using citrus oils on the skin when you're going into the sun. Now, I do recognize for myself, I actually do use it every day because I use the HD Clear. So just being more careful uh, when you go into the sun or making sure you're applying some form of sunscreen. Could be essential oils, uh, helichrysum, lavender, they're great together for uh, for uh, sunscreen. Um, adding that with the Terra Shield blend as well. So just some uh, different oils that you could use to create your own sunscreen. Um, but this was for Lyme. If you have any questions about Lyme, feel free to give me a shout. And of course, if you're in need of any recommendations, uh, for emotional or physical health concern, let me know. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to get these particular oils, so I would love it if you give me a shout and I can help you figure out um, the best oils to get for yourself and, and how to get them. So definitely let me know and I can help you with that. I thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!